Casino employees of Reddit. What is the worst you have ever seen someone handle a loss? A guy drove off the parking deck to commit suicide at the casino I worked for. A gentleman at a poker table in the five seat unzipped his pants and urinated on the dealer. I never caught the signal the dealer used but it was effective as all the guys who normally collect boxes from the tables show up out of nowhere and removed him from the table like they were taking out the trash. Well. They were. Dot. Table broke up so they could clean. Dealer showered and put on a new uniform and I saw her on the floor again a few hours later. What a f Kim professional. I work in I. T. For a casino and just had to replace a phone that was ripped off the wall and thrown at one of our pit bosses over a bad loss. Dealer for 10 years. Third day dealing. Fresh out of dealer school I am dealing pie gao tiles. Asian domino game. Try to get pairs and tiles to add up as close to 9 as possible. On a $25 minimum game. Guy bets $25 to $75 for a good 2 hours. He then slides his whole stack on one hand for 3k. For those who know the game. He gets team Daibo. I pull Ji Jun. For those who do not know the game. It's like he got pocket kings and I got pocket aces. Or he pulled a 20 in blackjack and I just pulled 11 cards to make 21. The odds are astronomical. It's the only hand that beats him. He slams his fist on the table swearing in Chinese. Chips fly everywhere. And begins to shove his finger down his throat. He self induces vomit all over my game. Close the table and pit down for cleanup. Third day dealing. Money benefits are great though. Highly recommend the industry. Made 30-40 an hour. Table games dealer here. I work at a casino in New Zealand. Had a Thai woman a few months ago betting 300k a hand. She lost 12 million at my table in less than an hour. The casino then paid for her private charter jet to Melbourne and back. 70 dollars. 000. So she could get more money. Not exactly sure why she had to go to Melbourne to get more money. But I was doing a 16 hour shift and she came back to my table after her trip and dropped another 15 million. Haven't had anyone close to spending that much money ever. She would also flash herself at dealers also for luck and requested only young white dealers. Almost all Baccarat dealers at my casino are Asian so I had to deal to her every night for 10 days. I actually did work in a casino in Las Vegas a few years back. In VIP services. One of our high rollers. Who visited frequently. Had a very bad gambling problem that his wife was divorcing him over. He lost everything at the tables and couldn't even afford his plane ticket back home. He threatened go to the roof of the hotel and throw himself off. The casino felt so sorry for him. We ended up buying a ticket back home for him. Never heard from him again after that. Edit. Yes it did actually happen. It was a brand new casino so I am sure they didn't want to risk just ignoring his threats. Also. No one made him gamble. Vegas was not built on winners. Was a waitress in casino establishment 10 years ago. Suicides were not common there but they did happen. Saddest was an Asian woman who hung herself in the toilets. She lost 20k or so from memory and was not a high roller type. 3-4 days later her car was to be towed from the underground car park. Sadly she had left her two fluffy dogs in there and nobody knew. Poor things were dead. The establishment then put on parking patrol officers who checked cars every few hours. They would find, alive, dogs and kids in there far too often I. I quit after 6 months as was tired of watching miserable zombies. My girlfriend's grandfather won it big one night and then was followed home by 4 people and killed for the money. So that's the worst way I've seen someone handle a win. Worked as a security guard on night shift. The biggest losers are in a fantasy land where they don't even notice. Never actually saw addicts get worried about the future. Had a guy jump off the parking garage and die. Had another shoot his wife's lover in the garage and kill him before killing himself. One guy was so angry at his losses that he took 200 quarters. Cut them in half. Tate one side. 
and proceeded to put them in various slot machines. Once they entered the machine, it would jam it up. I used to be a casino host on cruise ships casinos. Seen many people lose their shti. But there is one woman that I'll never forget. She was gambling a lot. Towards the end of the cruise I would find her on the slot she was crying and playing. I asked her what's wrong and she said I cannot afford to play anymore. This is all on my credit card. Talking playing crying at the same time. I banned her from the casino but it was already too late. I also heard stories from colleagues that used to work for a Asian cruise company that they always would keep one lifeboat half lowered because Chinese people would jump overboard after losing all of their money. You should not be able to gamble with credit. Colon. Worked in the cage before becoming a dealer. Saddest thing I used to commonly see is people getting cash advances of $15 and paying a $7.99 fee to do it. It was $7.99. 99 to get up to $100. With $15 being the minimum. They would pay a 50% VIG to piddle away $15. I guess they thought that big jackpot was just around the corner. Sad. This lady with a serious gambling problem was asked to leave as she'd been in the building for over her limit. As a protest. She pissed her pants and dripped it into the machine she was at and refused to stand up or walk out. Had to be dragged with piss running down her legs dripping onto the carpet. Down an escalator and onto the street. Work casino M's and security. Horsemen commit suicide. They're all alcoholics. So at least one drinks themselves to death every year. And they like to stab each other. Drove a car into the casino wall. Not the doors. The wall. The driver had a traumatic brain injury and luckily didn't injure anyone else. Left the casino. Got drunk high. Drove through someone's house and killed them. Suicide by shotgun in the parking lot. Punch a machine and break that giant touch screen. Those are five dollars. Zero 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 to replace. That could make you a felon. People OD in the bathrooms. A lot. People get so desperate they will wander up and down the aisles looking for pennies left on the machines. Haven't been in the gaming biz since the 1990s. But I've seen everything from tantrums on the floor to attacks on workers. The worst one though was some moron right out of prison with his homies lost his money on the blackjack table. Took it personally. Went out to his car. Waited for the dealer to get off work. Followed him. And then beat the living shti out of him when he stopped for gas. My friend just started at the new Catskill Resort Worldwide Casino. And has already said two people have been kicked out for having sx on the casino floor. And one guy got naked in the bathroom and started washing his clothes. They have been open two weeks. Not a casino employee. But just the other day my father-in-law, security, watched an elderly lady lose everything at a poker table. And then go around and steal a couple people's purses wallets. When they confronted her and asked for ID. She wouldn't give it to them because they weren't the police. When the police arrived. She still wouldn't give them her ID or even her name. Saying they couldn't arrest her if they didn't know who she was. Needless to say. They arrested her anyways. The last thing the cop asked her was. Are you at least going to cooperate and walk out with us to the car? Or are you going to do it the hard way? They had to carry her out and she was kicking the windows in the back of the car the entire time. Edit. Shall I show you to your room? Or would you prefer to be dragged off kicking and screaming? Do. Kicking and screaming. Please. Not an employee but my mum's friend won a slot machine jackpot. Security had to swoop in and save her because she was a very casual gambler and would use like 5 coins and leave. But that night on one of her first coins she won the jackpot. The people around her were gambling addicts and some of them had been working that machine for hours before and felt it should have been their win. So they tried to attack her for the money but she did get it. This won't have been a big win either because it was a small place but scary stuff. Casino zombies are aggressive and territorial. I sat next to a guy. He drove a Pepsi truck. He said his mom died and left him $30. 000. 
He'd never seen this much money before so he thought he could turn it into $100. 000. We're at the blackjack table. He's getting wasted and crying inconsistently BC of his mom. Talking about her dying. The cocktail waitresses are cockteasing him the whole night and he tips them $25s every drink. In 2 hours he loses everything. He has this look of nervousness on his face and said his wife is going to kill him if she finds out about this. BC they have 4 kids and wanted to buy our house. He walked out. 10 minutes later I go to my car and see that he got a DUI. In 24 hours. His mom died. He gets a ton of money. Loses it all. Will probably get divorced. Gets a DUI. And is sitting in the back of a cop car with blue balls from the cocktail waitresses. Edit. I don't know if his mom died the same day he got the money. I didn't ask him about that. This was like 15 years ago. Guy jumped from the 4th story of the parking garage. Notes in his car stating that he lost everything. Savings. Retirement. College funds all of it. I watched my uncle lose everything at a poker table. So he proceeded to the bathroom came out with his pants off and throw them on the table and say pants plays. The dealer said we can't take your pants sir. He said why not you've took everything else. Needless to say he was escorted out of the casino very upset. Edit. Have worked in casinos for nearly a decade and the saddest ones are the players who lose and show no aggression or sadness at all. I had a player who was down 1 million US dollars at the end of a night of roulette and he had a completely vacant. 1. 0, 0, 0 yard stare look on his face as he quietly left. Not an employee but my girlfriend and I were at a local casino for dinner on Saturday so we decided to take a lap around the playing floor afterwards. We are walking by the blackjack tables and notice a small crowd around a guy who had a pile of chips in front of him. After it's clear he lost it all to the dealer he starts screaming that he couldn't lose and begins to slam his head into the table. My uncle worked at a casino for years. He had a lot of horror stories but the worst by far was this guy who lost a large sum of money playing cards. The second he lost he pulled a gun out and shot himself right there at the table. I worked as a slot tech. Caught my casino cheating customers with a promo wheel with weights so it was impossible to win. I reported it to a lottery official on site. Nothing was done and I was fired for a BS reason a week after the wheel was removed. Figured since everyone is posting about gamblers losing I'd post something about a casino losing. Had a roulette spinner tell me that one time a woman came in and gave the woman a check to cash out and announced. Alright time for me to win my rent money for the month. The dealer handed her the check back and said. Mom we are not accepting your money in this hotel. Take this check and go pay part of your rent with it and work to pay the rest. This is supposed to be a place of fun not where you risk your life. I work in a city with casinos. Someone killed themselves and their body was found on top of an elevator in the casino's parking structure. Suicides happen pretty often in casinos. I wasn't working, at the time. But rather playing poker when a guy went super tilt after a bad hand. Anyway. He dove onto the table and thrashed around. Scattering the cards and throwing everyone's chip stacks all over the place before security wrestled him out. It took a good 30 plus minutes to sort everything out. That's also the day we all came to respect just how powerful casino surveillance cameras are. They were able to locate and replace every single chip exactly to where it was before his tantrum. Forget casinos. I worked at a hole in the wall liquor store. Well. It was more like a scratch off lottery store that sold liquor. Can't tell you how many times people would spend all their rent money. Car payment. And grocery money on scratch offs. They'd come back in with their kids crying. Begging me for their money back after spending like $1k every day for a week. Lady. I just work here. Sorry. Edit. Also one guy bought a ticket when I was trying to close. And said for the favor that he'd split it with me if he won. Scratches it off to find it's an $80k winner. Immediately tells me he was just kidding about splitting it with me. Turns out he read it wrong because he didn't scratch it off all the way. 
I like to think it was a winner and got changed his mind when the guy was a douche. Story from my BF. Was a table dealer for 3 years. Not really crazy or anything. More just passive aggressive. Had a regular sit at my blackjack table and get all pissed after he lost. He then called me literally the devil. Threw chips at me. And went to a different table. He came in every weekend and from then on. Refused to sit at my table. Even if he was already at the table. And I took over for the current dealer. He'd cash out and leave once I got there. Not an employee. But a while back a former chaplain tried to light a few slot machines. A chair. And a garbage can on fire after losing $600 in 20 minutes. A week later he was still apparently so angry about it that he went to the other casino in the city and tried to light a few blackjack tables and plants on fire. God doesn't douche tea for me. But fire. Fire has never let me down. Burn it all. I was dealing higher limit one night and a man lost his last $2.500 chips for a total loss of $30.000 in about 20 minutes. I know this guy and have dealt to him for many years so wasn't totally surprised by this response. Close bracket. He proceeds to stand up and tuck his chair in nice and neatly. He then squares up to me from behind his chair and rips off his own shirt. He was wearing a $400 Robert Graham. Buttons go flying in about 4 different directions and he lets out a primal scream. The other 2 players were so scared by his delayed reaction that the ducked for cover out of sheer surprise. I'm left staring at him with my mouth to the floor. He's heavily breathing and bare chested to his belly button and staring at me. I was left speechless as he turned and walked out the casino to his villa to no doubt break something else. Absolute meltdown. Friend used to work at a casino in Las Vegas. He said one day. A woman came in and gambled away about $30.000 which was her family's life savings. All their money. And also her son's college fund. Few hours later. My friend goes on his break and stumbles on the lady and her son. Around 17-18. In the parking lot. And the kid is absolutely livid. He's screaming at her. Calling her every name in the book. Yelling that she ruined his life and he now can't go to college because of her. She's now dead to him. Etc. During all this. His mother is bawling like a baby and pleading with him to stop yelling at her and saying that she's sorry. My friend had to call security when the kid started to assault her. Punching her. Slapping her. Pulling her hair. Etc. When they arrived. Though. They saw him drive out of the parking lot and nearly, possibly deliberately, run over his mother as she, blood just gushing out of her nose, was lying on the ground and shrieking for him to stop. Very disheartening. My friend said. A friend of mine got on a hot run at a poker table in a casino. This other dude at the table is audibly protesting his disbelief at my friend's luck. Eventually a hand gets down to my friend and this dude. The guy had a high pair in his pocket cards. My friend has like a pair of 2s and hits a third 2 on the flop. The guy turns to my friend and says if you have a pair of 2s under there. I'm going to reach over there and punch you in the face my friend is trying to be like haha okay but the guy looks completely serious. It comes time to show the cards and my friend reveals his 2 twos. Dude immediately lunges at my friend. I guess my friend's friend was ready because he intercepted him and decked the guy before security could come over and manhandle this dude. Ugh. This thread is the saddest thing I've read in a long time. Colon. Guy shot the pit boss after losing one too many blackjack hands. The fact that you can get a gun into a casino is a little concerning. Not an employee but saw a drunk guy pour his beer all over the slot machine after losing. Needless to say security came over where he proceeded to speak only Spanish. They brought out an interpreter so he refused to speak at that point. They escorted him somewhere. Former casino employee. Graveyard shift Reno. I saw a man win a truck on slots. Got so excited he hugged the machine tilting it and voiding the play. He did not win the truck. Not a casino employee. 
but I saw a dude smash a full beer on the floor after losing $18k in 3 rolls at a craps table. I lost about $60 in those same 3. Drank my beer. Obligatory not me. But my friend's dad runs a casino resort in the P. I. And she went to visit him over New Year's. Apparently one of their high rolling regulars came in and lost 1 million dollars in the casino so her dad can't the guest her 100 dollar. 000 bottle of champagne. Apparently the lady was satisfied 